Burna Boy emerged top artist of the year at the Hades Africa Awards in Nigeria. What excited us about the extravaganza was the fashion and that's what we're here for tonight. Welcome to the NTV Cell Project. It's always a pleasure having you guys join us as always. I am your host, Azibon Solomon, and sitting pretty on the panel today is the gorge Bettina Tiana. Thank you, Azibon. Good evening. Welcome to the show. I'm so happy to be here. Let's get right into it. And our guest for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, multimedia personality, Nikki Shilingi. Welcome to the NTV Cell Project. Nikki. Thank you, Tazibon. It's always good to be around people with so much class and <laughs> <laughs> honestly, it's always an opportunity, so thank you. Uh, so we've always taken a lot of inspiration from uh, Nigerian red carpets lately. Why, why do you think, Bettina, why do you think uh, us as Kampala people, especially given that we're going into award season, uh, basically drifting towards, you know, borrowing inspiration from Nigeria and South Africa? I must say Nigerians and South Africans are very neat when it comes to, you know, red carpet events from their hair and nails, mm. makeup, mm. their ensembles are always, you know, out of this world. Mm. And the pictures, now, people who are watching us back home, I really feel like pictures really contribute a lot to the fashion industry. How you photograph a picture and then you realize that just one shot from um, a personality's Instagram has moved to like different blogs. Mm. Do you get my point? To the point of getting to um, TVs. So for me, I just think the way they present themselves alone mm. just makes us want to you know, be like that and mm. maybe you know, do better. Watching the show, um, the award show, yeah. you can see that people think get out of the box. They think out of the box. So let's get right into what we are here to do tonight and that's dissecting all the red carpet looks from the Hades Awards. 2019. We're starting off with the gorge, gorge Toke Makinwa. Now this girl, I mean, I follow her on Instagram. I but, do. You wow. know, she has a very, 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 very well curated Instagram account. And she <laughs> is an influencer for uh, Bel Air. Every single time she shows out for an event, it kind of seems like she's the owner of the event. Like she owns it and I love that about her from her makeup, from her hair mm. and you know from what she wears and I love the dress that she wore. You know the high slit is something that has you know just come to stay with us. It's not going anywhere. Mm. So for me that detail is what I love. I love confident women. I like people that just get think out of the box. So I love her hair. I love the way it has complemented her face. Mm. She's just like everything. <laughs> like, mm. look at her waist, honestly. It's not <laughs> like it's they like, say uh, uh, <laughs> These are people that put too much time, mm. you know, and that's the, that's the goal, you know? I should say she's like the Nigerian equivalent of Bonang. Yeah. I totally, and they look so yeah. alike yeah, and they're, they're like very good do. friends. Mm. Following closely is Big Brother winner. This outfit for me spoke a lot. Yeah. This look was obviously styled by Nigerian styling king, uh, Swanky Jerry. And <laughs> hands down, okay. totally. But what I'm not here for is the hair. I wish you could have done something like a little bit edgy, something a little bit upscale with the hair. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just a very, very boring pony. Yeah. yeah. I really, really love Massey's makeup. You know, when I, when I do like a red carpet look, I don't want bava I just want something that is, you know, classy and memorable. Mm. This look is something that I remember from this award show. I loved the cutout. Who knew such, you know, a position for a cutout to just, you know, take the dress to a whole other level? Because without the cutout, it's just mm. a black mm -hmm. sequin dress. Yeah. But this cutout took it mm. to a whole other level. Kudos mm. to you, Swanky. Keep slaying us. Nikki, what do you make of this uh, gown? I'm not really okay with the shoulder part. I don't really like... Mm -mm. Oh, no. Why? I know, I know. Why? Personally, I think you know? it's very befitting like, of her persona. I know, I know. A, but it's just something very, I don't like. Yeah. But it looks good on her. Yeah. But it's just something I would not agree on. Mm. But it, she has rocked it, definitely. But me mm. wearing it? Mm, no. Who knew one would drop denim to the red carpet? Or to an event of this magnitude? It, it looks a little bit of... Mm. going to the club yeah. mm. with the gang <laughs> this picture it's, it's just a good picture like a, it's like a photographer really did a good job mm. but take away the photographer and it's just her with her denim mm. something would you know not, not, not mm. come off right yeah mm. it definitely is a, is a, it's, a, it's a yes for me especially given like as a stylist i like the edgy side of things but i don't know as to whether it was really really befitting of uh, an event like the head is 
I also agree. This is more of an outfit for like a girl's night out, you know, mm. just go out and sleep, but not for no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even even that her um, companion, the guy who looks like whiskey, like so much. <laughs> mm. I still feel like this is something you don't take to a red carpet event. Okay. Now when I look at this symbol, I get Billy Porter vibe. But I feel the execution, execution, execution kind of missed the mark. First of all, when I look at this hat, it's, it's quite tacky, yeah? It's not like a polished hat. Oh my god, the shoes just do The not shoes, I've been staring at the everything. shoes like yes. they've taken my whole entire attention. I'm like, what's happening with these shoes? What? But you know, if this guy took a very good photographer, and paused right next to maybe a chandelier or like staircase and had this picture well edited and had his train thrown <laughs> out of the stairs <laughs> you get what i'm saying like it would literally reflect billy porter and it uh, would work i feel like it overwhelms him what do you think nikki um first of all i like the way it's in i like white oh, because yeah. white you always stand out you know in white but i don't agree with the outfits there's just too much like his shoes look like he's going for a basketball match. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, when it comes to dapper, dapper, dapper Nigerian men, Dinola Green never, never misses on the list. And this time he's basically wearing like a brocade jacket and, you know, crisp pants. But you know what I love about this look? It's very, very well, well put together. The execution of it, the way it fits his body mm. just for me is mm. very, very amazing. And I love the fact that he thought out of, out of the box with the, you know, the accessory, the jewelry, because obviously if you're not going to wear a shirt, you know, and because he's not a buff guy, I mean, a buff guy would, you know, uh, basically pull this look off without having to accessorize or anything in the neck. What I do not agree with are the pants. I wish you went for a darker color, let's say um, black, mm. just to make everything, you know, well put together. Do you get me? But when you look at this whole entire look, the pants are just a little bit distracting. I'm sorry. I don't know what you think, Nikki. I actually like his outfit, yeah. like from head to toe. Mm. You can see that he's a real fashionista. Uh, here's a tip for you for the asphalt. Stay away from the tux. Give us something like this. Just mm. play around with it like a tux. Honey, no one even wears those to the wedding anymore. <laughs> So try, you know, being creative, man. Mm. There are so many ideas. And this works for any kind of man, mm. you know, a sports person, a, a media personality, any kind of man. So just be mm. open. Okay, now harnesses are a thing, apparently, because I'm getting to see a lot of men rocking harnesses yes. these days. Now, Aiki here, also styled by Swanky Jerry. Swanky actually got to style both Aiki and, and, Mercy, and Mercy, the couple. So I think he did a really, really amazing job. First of all, monochrome black and white always wins. Yes. And right. this is really, really well put together. I don't know why he's on the phone while taking a picture. I mean, that, that's like so 20, <laughs> 17 or something. Mm. Just get off the phone, pose, come on. It doesn't really stand out, but you can see it's a bit, it's simplicity at its best. Well, 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 who do we have here? I actually love everything about his suit. Mm. What I don't like are his shoes. They're a little bit boring. Mm. And then the kangaroo, uh, you know, cape. Um, you know, I just feel like there was a miss, you know, coordination with the cape and the shoes. Yes, they're trying to be a bit leather. And then um, the other gentleman over here, also from Big Brother Niger, not 2019. I love the white suit. It's giving, it's giving me Miami vibes. You know, when you look at it, you feel like, oh, okay, are we going to Miami? And the detail on his shoes, that is so dope. Love it. And the beard. Huh? Beard guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love a man with a good beard. <laughs> Even in the Big Brother Niger house, he would also dress up. When is it time to dress up? Like, he, he really understood his body. Only see, when I look at the picture, I only see Mike. So I don't know why people do that. <laughs> How do you post a picture? It's like, it's like, but Bettina and I posting a picture and everyone is looking at Bettina. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, I believe the head is a BBA Niger affair because we're getting to see all the BBA Niger alumni mm -hmm. like reuniting. It's a reunion of sorts for me. Mm -hmm. Here we have Tasha in fiery red. Now, this look for me is just contrived. It looks like, you know, this creative was basically just trying too hard. I would have preferred the sleeve to be a little shorter and flared, but it just it just looks like not a lot of thinking went into this dress honestly really? when you look at it. Yeah, I feel like 
I just love how all Nigerians have mastered the fact that if you if, if it's a red carpet, you need to slick the hair back, let them let them the dress do the talking, let the attention, mm. you know, go to the dress, and have subtle makeup because it's it's a way to be classy. I don't really think I agree with the shoes. Not really, like. I don't really like low heels, honestly. Like, I feel mm. like if you're in the red carpet, you have to be extra everywhere. Mm. Well, as we wrap up this segment, who makes it to your best dressed? I would say Marcy. Mm. Yeah, so she really killed it for me. And uh, for the men, um, I would say IK. I loved mm. how different it was. That is something that is so cool, so 2019. So yeah, those two were my best. Mm. Nikki? Um, I also agree with Bettina. I, lo I loved um, Mercy's dress. Mm. Like, it made her look like the money she's got, yeah? Um, may, the male best dressed, um, I, I, do, I would do Mike. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it was very effortless, and in a way, he just, he just looks like money, money itself, anyway. And for my female best dress, of course, Tokay, 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 all the way. So, as we wrap up our... What style notes do you think uh, the person that's watching out there yeah. will pick, you know, especially the, the asphalt around the corner? Subtle makeup. Subtle makeup is so classy. It's a way to look beautiful. And when people meet you in person, they'll be like, oh yeah, she looks like her Instagram posts. <laughs> and also being creative with the hairstyles. <laughs> Your nails look, you know, pretty because you're mm. going to be on the red carpet. Mm. Look at these people, look at all the people we just critiqued. I feel like they go an extra mile in you know, investing into the way they look, mm. apart from what they're actually gonna wear. Yeah. Yeah, so grooming, for me, goes a long, long, long way. I'm with you on that. Well, let's take a quick break for now. We will be with you in a jiffy, so no go away. Button Museum located at the Hamam at African Village right here in Accra, Ghana and I'll be meeting up the gorgeous amazing beautiful African Hamam bats and we're going to be learning how to make natural shea butter handmade it's all handmade with love and magic so sit back relax and enjoy the show you are watching the NTV Star Project trend segment and my name is Bettina Wow, yes, yes, exactly. So that the nuts will go down and the oil rise up. Yes, oh, you're doing so well. Thank you. <laughs> well, hi everyone. My name is Hamamat and we are at the Shia Butter Village right here in Accra, Ghana. Now, Bettina came all the way from Uganda to learn how Shia Butter is made. So we have to start from here. Come, let me show you. Okay. So these are Shia nuts. Oh, mm -hmm. Now, we get them from a fruit that grows on a shear nut tree. And the shear nut tree takes about 30 to 40 years to grow. Oh, wow. Yes, oh, before it produces one fruit. Okay. We eat the fruit okay. and then we leave the seeds to dry. When we crack it up, we have this. Okay. So this is where all the magic happens. What is the name of this particular seed and do you know the name of the tree it grows on? Yes, it's called the Shiana tree. It has a botanical name called the um, Leophilia paradoxa. Yes, wow. yes, that's the, <laughs> that's the, you know, scientific name, but it's called the Shiana tree and these are shea nuts. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Mama, tell yeah. us about the process of making shea butter and do you make the shea butter yourself? Yes, we make it ourselves the traditional way mm -hmm. now making shea butter is hard work it takes about 13 steps wow yes to make it the traditional way but you know with time and education it has been fast forwarded but this is a simple way now when the nuts are cracked mm -hmm. the best is selected mm -hmm. and then it is washed and dried after okay. it's dried it is crushed let's so go to this the next is washed and yeah. dry dried oh, nice. after it's washed it is cracked like that. <laughs> Do you think like people chocolate. can put this on tea and drink it? Yes, it's very healthy for the neck, okay. for, for when you have like colds. Mm. Shea butter is amazing. You can put a spoon in soup 
and drink it and you'll feel amazing. Right. Yeah, so right. after pounding and crushing, what is the next step? Roasting. Roasting. So this is how we roast traditionally. Wow. This is the utensils or the equipment that we use to roast. You normally have to sit somewhere there. I want you to try it. Oh, okay. All you do is turn. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Like that? Yes. Okay. You can stand. You like can stand? Yeah, stand. Turn. Yes. So that's the nuts roasting. You have to keep turning. Okay. And turning. What is the importance of roasting the nuts? This makes it easier for the oil to come out. You know, because all the oil is in the nuts. When it's roasted, it looks like this. Okay. It's brown. And you can actually see some particles of oil, right? Oh, it's okay. like shiny. Okay. Yeah. So after the roasting bit, what comes next? Grinding. Grinding. And we okay. do this the traditional way. Okay. This is how we grind traditionally. You squat. You just put the nuts. Okay. Yes. And then you put the stone. And then can you try? Yes. Let me okay. try. Here. Uh, oops. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. Okay. So it's the hard work, huh? So I have to put the nuts here. Yes. And then carry these. Yes. Like that. This is. Am I yeah. doing it right? You are. You are doing it right. Exactly. Why, why do you prefer grinding yeah, uh -huh. to soften them instead of boiling? Because boiling also helps in you know, softening yes. hard particles. Yes, it does. But the thing about boiling is that sometimes it destroys the nutrients okay. and the vitamins that live in this wonderful butter. And when it does that, it just becomes butter, not sheer butter. Oh, okay. So we have a time that we boil it, but it's only for a little while. Yeah. Her mama, yeah. this is a bit hard to believe. <laughs> this, after grinding it, it turns into this color. Yes. And the way it is, you know, like battery. Yes. How is that possible? Please explain to me how we come from this form to that form. Well, I, I, I did tell you that shea butter is magic. Yes. And, and this is one of the stages that it shows that beautiful magicness. Now, um, these are the grinded nuts. Yes. They look brown. But when you put it in water and you knead it with your hand, I, I think that it's because of the energy. You just keep kneading, the butter rises up. Okay. It separates itself from this. So we put water in there? Yes. And then you put the, the brown dish. Yes. The yes. And then you knead. You knead by stirring with your hands like she's doing. How long does the process of kneading take? Does it take days? hours for a pro it can take about two hours okay yeah. so the next stage is boiling it we boil it in order to preserve it naturally now if the shea butter is mixed with water it won't last long yes so it's very good that you boil it not for too long so after kneading the butter it looks like that what she's doing then we pour it in the pot. Okay, I'll help you that. All of it? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh yes. So now the butter is melted. Can I do it? Yes. You have to keep stirring. You have to keep stirring. For how long? Um, for as long as the oil rises up because you don't want it to burn. Okay, yes. Shea butter needs a lot of attention in order to produce the best. Uh, this looks amazing. It smells really great. Yes. It smells just like chocolate. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as you can see, the oil is separated. Wow. Yeah. So we scoop it off and we leave it to cool. When it cools, it turns into this. Come with me. Hamama. So, yes. Tell us. How does the shea butter we've just been stirring uh -huh. on the fire mm -hmm. turn from oil to this hard shea butter? Uh -huh. Okay, so that is a really good question. Now, how that happens is that when we have the oil, we keep it in a cool room. So when the room is about maybe 70, because it's quite hot in Tamale, um, it turns into this. This is natural, pure shea butter. Smell it. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. It smells really good but a lot of people have this perception that shea butter stinks which is not true at all 
bad shea butter sinks when the shea butter is not done properly or when it's too old some people you know shea butter doesn't expire it can stay for years it's just that the vitamins and the minerals will reduce so if someone is is selling you shea butter and you smell it and it sinks it means it's bad shea butter this is our final product okay we package it into glass because glass keeps the nutrients it keeps it fresh and it keeps your skin glowy yeah yeah so you can smell this one too it has a different smell you will smell the herb in there yeah i can smell the yes yeah. it's really good for mm -hmm. healing wow. yeah so that's the difference let me apply some of this on you you can feel it try it try it on your skin spread it see how it is Yes, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. Most people very use soft. shea butter and it's hard. And it's hard. Shea, and butter. Actually, shea butter is a healing oil. You know, shea butter started um, the oil. How they found the oil was by cooking. The oil was initially made for cooking. But now, years later, it's mostly used for beauty. So it has a healing property. And I believe that it comes from the way it takes 40 years to grow. Can you imagine that it's in the ground years. for 40 years wow. before a fruit pops up? So it has sucked so much good energy. That's well, yes. you know, 40 years. Yes, that's that's really health. Rough. Yes. Like health. And then when it comes, the women are kneading with their hand, transferring energy into this same. Okay. Yes, that's how we believe in our shea butter as healing as a healing product it smoothens the skin yeah yes shea butter will smoothen your skin it's very good for wrinkles okay yes it keeps you looking young young absolutely amazing for babies the other time i saw you on your social media on your instagram yeah. handle and you're using it to massage your tummy you yes. were having some um, period cramps yes tell us about that that's the safari because it has the healing herb in there it's very good for cramps okay. so if you're the type that has cramps and doesn't like to take medication or you know the chemicals you can just put safari shea butter on there and just rub but people want to know back home how can they order this amazing product oh yes i can't wait for this to get to you um you can order on hamamats.com okay. uh, but we just opened up in uganda Ooh. so you can order at hamamatsuganda.com and you get freshly handmade shea butter yeah. from west africa so my absolute number one beauty tip is shea butter pure natural shea butter it is a great anti-wrinkle and very good for under eye. All you need is just a little bit every day after you wash your face before you go to bed. Top it right under your eye. And you say bye-bye to saggy eyes. Well, it's always a swell time with you right here on the NTV Style Project, but as always, time is not on our side. I've been your host, Tazibon Solomon, and this show has been shot on location at Abraham's collection, the flag for Fashion Forward Men. The Asper 2019 Fashion Premier Summit is on this Saturday at Kingdom Kampala. Grab your tickets and come join us as we discuss everything fashion. I was your girl Bettina and my hair was by Sparkle Saloon, outfit by Jojo Fashion Uganda, makeup by Shilat Makeup. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to find out more details about my look. And thanks again, Nikki, for joining the NTV Style Project. Thank you so much. We you love your company. Really awesome yeah. people. <laughs> you need to come back. You need to come back. Defin definitely, I would love to. Mm. Um, thank you so much. Once again, I'm Nikki Shilingi. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. It's the same thing, Nikki Shilingi. Go well, from the entire NTV Style Project crew and I. Good night. Good night. Take thanks care. for watching.